Okay, in this video we're going to look at uh, putting in the board and the cards. So in the last video we were assigning uh, parts of this range manually into groups. Uh, this isn't particularly useful unless we're talking about a specific board. So let's start by putting in a board. Uh, you just type it in, um, so for example let's say the, heart, the board is uh, you know, king of hearts, ten of hearts, four of spades. Um, uh, immediately once you take into a board it takes into account the dead cards so now you know king of hearts doesn't exist and in fact like if you hover if you look down in suit selection as I hover over two kings you see there are no king of hearts combinations anymore and you know when we click it it's only three combinations now that we've put in this board uh, if I show you if I remove this you know now it goes back up to six combinations because all combinations are available um, let's just put that board back in um, so once we've done that we can start getting out some useful, use, useful information. Uh, for example, we could quickly select into group one uh, all uh, top pair hands. That was me just using the cross tool. If you're unsure how to do that, then you could look back in the uh, preflop videos. It's exactly the same. Um, and you can see here that uh, top pair represents 15.8% of all combinations. There's 138 uh, combos in total. Uh, maybe we assign some sets into group two. So that would be kings, tens and fours. Okay, so we see there are nine combinations of king tens and fours. Uh, that's six point one percent of all grouped hands or one percent of all total hands. You can see all grouped hands now represent sixteen point eight percent. Um so I don't know maybe to group three we assign I don't know some ace highs. How often does our opponent have ace high? Um just make sure that ace king goes into group one, that's top pair. So now you can see and as we update these uh, output gets updated on the fly on the fly. Um, just to finish off the board and cards, there's a few other tricks in here. Um, rather than typing in uh, the, the s specific boards, there's some shortcuts here. For example, if we just type in, uh, say, King 10 4 TT, short for two tone, it'll it'll pretty much just randomly pick uh, a suit for the first two cards and a suit for the second cards. Um, similarly, you could do King 10 4 Rainbow, as you expect, that just randomly picks three suits, or King 10 4 uh, Monotone, and it all sets it all to the same suit. Um, there's also, you can put in the hero cards. Now this would be the cards for, if this is, for example, we're looking at our opponent's range, we would put in our own cards here. This is used in a couple of ways. Firstly, it's used for card removal. So let's say our hand is uh, Ace of Clubs, uh, Ten of Spades. Um, the effect here is that it will remove uh, the the combinations that have uh, the spades in, so you can see some combinations removed there. And um, what it also does is it puts in equity. Uh, if you have the uh, pro combinator, then equity is built in. It automatically calculates um, the equity of all combinations in this range. And once it's finished calculating, you can see not just uh, combinations. Uh, so let's put back in, say, for example, top pair. Um, you also get the uh, equity that Hero has against that range. So Hero has an equity of 60.28% against the entire range. Against uh, Group 1 hands, which is top pair, here he has 19.78. Uh, we can put back in the sets here. You know, obviously against group two we have a very low equity, 4.85%. Over all grouped hands we have 19.303%. percent you can see this just updates on the fly. So there's no like clicking calculate and waiting. You're just getting instant answers, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the final um, feature here with just board and cards is fill from clipboard. And what fill from clipboard does is, um, well, it tries to get board and hero card information from the clipboard. So this is useful if you have a hand history, you don't have to type in anything at all. Uh, if I just bring up holder manager here, um, uh, let's just, you know, pick a hand which has got cards and a flop. Uh, let's just, you know, right click here, just do copy hand to clipboard, and then you come and click here. And when you click, if uh, the hand went to uh, turn or river, you get to choose whether to start on the flop, the turn or the river. So there we can just put in the flop cards, and it, straight away you can see it's starting to calculate equity. Here it had a um, you know, if we flop bottom pair here, we have 61% equity against uh, all hands. We can go to the turn here where the ace comes. So our equity goes down a bit. We can go to the river. Um, so there you go. That's feel from clipboard. It should work with uh, most um, hand histories. It, it it's not totally exhaustive. It won't work with everything. It should work with um, hands that you see on a forum as well. But if you want to get the suit information, then make sure you. Uh, like if you're on 2 plus 2, if you see a hand history, if you click to quote that post, you can copy the text and then you'll get all the suit information. But if you actually try and copy the, the, the posted text, then it won't get the suits because they're pictures. Um, but other than that, you know, that's just a, just a quick way of, of getting started straight away in your analysis. Okay, so 
um, along with showing you the board and cards and manual selection hopefully you're starting to get an idea of you know the power that this tool has in quickly you know seeing uh, getting uh, results in um, the next episode we're going to look at start looking at the auto selection the powerful auto selection tools um, and we're going to be looking more at the output window in section 3 of the video manual okay nice one